Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. Well, yesterday was kind of a wild and woolly day. We started off the day very, very bearish um, with one of the Fed members saying, hey, we've got to go a lot higher in interest rates. And then we had Jerome Powell in the afternoon speech, whether it was intended or not, he triggered a big bull rally yesterday that shot us right back up in these markets and ended up creating huge point whipsaws yesterday. Just boom, 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 boom. And now we're um, um, indicating a little bit of a gap down this morning um, as we continue to um, ride this wave of volatility after the Fed's comments. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. Um, how about we take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So with that bullish pattern that came in yesterday, a um, big bullish engulfing pattern popped up here in the diamonds. And what that did on the day is that pushed us right back up here into this price resistance that we've struggled with before. The question is going to be now, if those bulls were to engage today, will they be able to break through that resistance level here in the Dow and maybe confirm that upside move that we uh, potentially see here in the market. This right here could potentially be the new upside trend of the diamond. So let's watch that closely. And if the bulls can push on through this area up here, it's a fairly significant area of resistance, as you can see running across that chart, then we might stretch up here and test some of these resistance levels that we've seen. Now, if the bulls were to um, find some reason for inspiration today, then maybe a pull back into here could be possible. And we just continue this little bit of a chart top zone as we rest here in the indexes. If they push even further than that, well then I would look for a little support level down in here and along that upside channel in the market. But right now there's no clues that the bears are really engaging here at all. Um, we had a tremendous spike in volume yesterday with that big whipsawing market where we're bullish and bearish and then bullish again. And um, now um, getting a little bit of bearishness here this morning um, in the pre-market. If we take a look, um, one, one of the things I wanna continue to remind everyone is this market condition right now remains pretty darn dangerous. And that is just because of these massive point moves that we're making. You can have the best plan in the world and the whipsaw of the day or these big point moves can easily stop you out um, in, in about half a heartbeat. So be very, very careful here on how you approach this market and just try to make sure not to over trade. Now, when we take a look at the rest of the indexes, one of the things that is very, very important, I think, to pay attention to is that although we're holding on to um, an upside trend in here, I want you to notice the um, parabolic nature of that chart in here. We are very, uh, very extended here in the short term of this market, moving up strongly. We gotta give this to the bulls though. As you can see, the bulls are hanging in here very nicely. We're um, holding above these support levels here in the chart and we're maintaining um, certainly that bullish nature of this extension to the upside. You will wanna keep in mind that although we had a bullish engulfing candle yesterday, well, we weren't quite able to um, break back through to a new high. So remember, if those bulls find inspiration today and push right up on into that um, high area, then we could still find resistance there. If they were able to break through that resistance, well, I'm gonna have to kind of pick some spots out here that are quite some time ago to find those next maybe resistance levels in the chart. Um, in the SPY. If those bears find inspiration, then I would look for a retest of the support 
um, and maybe um, just that hint that we could possibly just rest a little while here in this market from that over um, extended condition and that parabolic move and we see that very clearly when we look at our moving averages we are a very extended away from our 50-day moving average but the good news is is we've got the 50 crossing up through the 200 day and they call that the golden cross so that is a bullish sign for the market moving forward if we take a look at our nasdaq our qqq well our qqq is the most extended uh, market um, right now uh, bar none I mean this thing is uh, tremendously parabolic and I think everyone looking at this chart is probably hopeful that, that that continues but we also have to recognize the fact that it's rare if a um, an extension like this can continue very long so we want to be prepared and be watching for that possibility of a pullback at any time in the market but if those bulls find inspiration today well then let's f look for another uh, test back up here if they can push right on up here let's see if we can retest those highs here in the market that real big stretch and um, if they can push on through there well we still have some additional highs up here that we could reach out and try to uh, tag here in the market now keeping in mind if we were to pull back from this point then technically speaking that could create a little lower high here in the market I'm not saying that's going to occur but we do want to kind of keep that potential in mind from this extended condition that a pullback or a reversal could occur really at any time and if we take a look right in here if we were to pull back well um, if the bears grab a hold of this then I would suggest a retest of this low in here seems possible and then if they push on through there maybe we start coming back into this area I do think um, if we're going to remain bullish in the market there is a high probability that we would hit some kind of a longer term con consolidation to rest um, this market just a bit so just kind of keep those things in mind you don't want to be the last one in the door buying up stocks in that fear of missing out um, because that reversal could occur really at any time here in the market and here again we also have that very overextended condition here look how far away we are from our 50-day moving average and we still have that work here where that 50 needs to get up through that 200 so we're very, very extended in the short term here on the QQQ. And then we have our Russell IW, uh, IWM is also in a very parabolic move. If you notice here, as we move up, this is one of those extensions that is very difficult to maintain for a long period of time. So that being said, bullish engulfing candle yesterday, holding in there nice and strong that we've got to give that to the bulls. So if the bulls can continue to push on through here in this chart, well, maybe a retest up in here would seem likely. And then, of course, we'd look for those next levels if we can push on through there. If those bears find inspiration, maybe a retest of yesterday's lows could be possible and then maybe even a pull back into here if we were to really see those bears engage and maybe employ a little bit more of that resting pullback here in the market uh, once again we've got that uh, cross 50 crossing over the 200 which um, is called the golden cross but we are extremely extended away from the those um moving averages right now and it's kind of a uh, an uncomfortable stretch away from moving averages I'll, I'll mention like this extension that we had over here um that suddenly came back so um watch carefully for that possibility that it could occur or begin at any time let's take a look at um our vix our VIX yesterday um, did pull back, so we had that fear dropping out of the market here yesterday as Jerome Powell spoke. You know, he, he didn't really give, in, in my impression of, of his comments, it wasn't really a big warm and fuzzy for the market, but boy, that is certainly how the market reacted yesterday. So we saw that fear diminish, but you'll notice that we didn't come down here to these lows. Um, so we're going to see need to see a little bit more follow through if we're going to continue to push this 
um, uh, VIX lower. Um, if the bears were to get a hold of this and push back up, again, I don't think there's going to be any kind of problem here in the VIX unless those bears are able to get up above that downtrend and actually hold up there um, with a higher low. So right now there's no indication of that. The bulls are still strongly in control of this market. And if we look at T2122, we can see that the bulls continue to be strongly in control of this market. However, we're right back up here in that potential overextended condition here in the market. We have lingered and lingered and lingered here on this hype of earnings. Um, this uh, quarter and as you can see uh, popping up here pretty high so we've extended right back up into that area we've got a little bit of upside room that we could still have happen um, um, if those earnings are good today but if we were to find some bearish reason here in the market just keep in mind we've opened that big door for that downside potential move that could be a painful pullback if you're one of the last people to buy in this rally. Let's take a look at our uh, T2108. Again, T2108, we hooked back up, but it's interesting yesterday with that big move, we didn't see a, um, a recovery back to uh, the highs here in our T2108. And I still wanna point out this very rare condition that we have going on in this market. You can see um, all the way back here to um, 2017, it's rare when we can get up here and actually break through those levels up there. We have to have an extreme amount of confidence in the market and some pretty extreme bullishness to break through these levels up here and um, actually hold. So what we typically see is we pop up into this area and then we get that reversal um, back down. So I would be watching for that at any time. And maybe we don't go too far. Maybe we just come down in here onto these little peaks of little price support in the chart. But we we do really need to relieve some of this um, bullish pressure that we see in the market. When it comes, I don't know, but I would be a little bit cautious of just overloading up your account in long positions in case that reversal were to occur. And the same is true if we look at T2107. T2107 is also extremely extended here. And although we did hook a little bit um, yesterday, it didn't come anywhere near coming right back up to those highs yesterday and we still are in this very very extended situation here it's a rare situation with t2107 can actually get that high and remember that was the high of the market um, in 2021 um, when we were extremely overextended and overbought. So watch that carefully here in the market. Anything um, is possible, but we do want to recognize the extension that we're in on the, on the market. If we take a look at our T2101. Well, T2101, again, a little bit of confusion here, uh, actually hooking um, to the downside here as we're trying to maintain that upside momentum here in the market with that big swings that that we saw yesterday but i think there might be a little confusion here in t2101 because of that volatility as well let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today now our economic calendar is actually a relatively light day today um, on those um, economic numbers um, you can see we've got mortgage applications um, in this morning and they actually came in bullish here this morning on that um, pretty substantial increase in uh, mortgage applications. But you'll notice in here, we've got a parade of Fed speakers. So it kind of depends on how these Fed speakers act. Remember, we had one yesterday that was very bearish uh, for us. And then we had Jerome Powell that honestly didn't speak bullishly, but the market reacted to that as a bullish um, um, uh, uh, move and then we've got um, uh, more here this afternoon that will be speaking so kind of keep that in mind interesting um, we'll have these wholesale inventories that might be interesting today although it's not a big market mover and then of course petroleum status which we'll want to watch um, yesterday we had oil moving higher again 
um, on that big surge. So remember, as, as oil moves up, so does that potential for inflation. And then um, as we move forward into Thursday, we're going to have those jobless claims, and we know how problematic that has been for us, so we'll want to be watching that carefully moving into Thursday. Now, what's probably the bigger uh, market mover today is all of the earnings reports. We've got a big number of earnings reports, and we have some very highly anticipated earnings reports for today. Now, I, there's no way I can cover them all this morning. So if you want to click or click that link just below the title of the video in the description of the video, you'll find a link that'll take you back to the morning blog. And in that morning blog, you will be able to find that list of notables um, that I've pulled out for today. Let's do um, really quick, let's cover just um, um, a few. Um, CME will be reporting today. You'll wanna keep an eye on that. We've got um, a CVS. Um, reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Uh, heavily anticipated um, report today is going to be Disney. Um, keep a close eye on Disney here today. We're going to hear from Goodyear Tire. We've got Mattel reporting in here. We've got Yum Brands reporting in here. And um, um, O'Reilly might be another um, um, interesting one to pay attention to here today. So um, quite a few reports and some of those um, could be market moving. So be kind of careful. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so, so much for all of the uh, nice comments and the support of the channel. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a quick peek here and see if we can um, grab some information on some stocks that could be setting up today. You'll want to be a little bit careful here because of the extension of the market. Um, so you may want to be looking at the possibility of some of those stocks that could still be short out there. But I'm going to show you um, that today mostly long um, trades to be paying attention to. But remember, these are not recommendations to trade any security. As a matter of fact, make sure you do your own due diligence and be very, very careful about how you approach the market. We've had some interesting moves here. Um, yesterday, <laughs> we saw um, with um, the first Fed speaker yesterday, we saw um, interest rates um, starting to shoot back up. And um, we saw this TLT um, moving um, moving down um, um, interest rates and what I mean is bond yields moving up and we saw TLT moving down and then as Jerome Powell spoke all of a sudden we saw zoom um, we saw uh, TLT shooting back up um, yesterday as those bond yields declined and then it reversed again <laughs> so quite the volatility here in TLT um, on the day. So we'll want to watch that pretty carefully um, here as this moves forward. And this is really showing us that uncertainty about what's going on um, here in the market. Are we truly going to be this bullish? Is the market truly um, um, seeing that inflation drop enough that we're not that we're not going to have to hold these interest rates high for a long period of time? Um, and, and I think there's just that uncertainty out there that people are dealing with um, in the market. And so let's watch that closely. And, and the other thing that's really confusing the situation is almost to a, uh, the major index banks or the major central banks have all come out with bearish reports suggesting that we're going to head into a recession. They, they're they not necessarily saying it that they know it's going to be a strong recession, but a recession of some kind, and they're expecting the economy to continue to slow. 
So we have all of this confusion out here in the market, along with this really wild speculation that we're seeing here lately that is making for some very challenging conditions. And, and you're going to have to be really careful on how you approach some of these charts. Another thing I think that is very interesting here in the market, we saw a lot of whipsawing around here on UUP, the US dollar. Now, remember, if the US dollar um, get stronger, you will typically see the market weaken. But not right now. We had the US dollar moving up pretty strongly here, and the market was moving up along with the US dollar. Kind of an odd circumstance. Um, you know, it does happen from time to time, but it's not the norm. And if we take a look in here, um, UUP now getting that resting pullback. And what I'm going to be watching here is if UUP finds some price support in here and starts moving back higher, that would be um, an opportunity to maybe pick up some of that US dollar. Notice that we're dealing with that 50 day moving average. So it is entirely possible this is too early that we pop up in here and maybe we just fail right back down. But if we can hold in this area, get above that 50, then there may be some upside opportunity here again in the US dollar. And that means that we could see those bond yields uh, coming down. So watch that close. Um, another place that you're going to have to be watching, and it, it's something that uh, I am watching pretty closely, is the volatility that we've seen here in gold. Gold shot up strongly. As a matter of fact, what we have learned here the last few days is that the central banks have been, well, they have bought more gold over the last quarter than um, they have for 10 or 15 years. The central banks are buying up massive quantities of gold. Now, I don't know what that means, but it does make me a little bit cautious and nervous as we continue to extend this market up that there could be a big letdown coming uh, at some point in time and the banks are preparing for that. So watch carefully here. Um, we've had a lot of volatility here just recently, pulling back, bouncing up, and this is usually correlates very strongly with the dollar. If the dollar rises, you would typically see gold fall. If the dollar falls, you would typically see gold rally. So watch that. We have these interesting dynamics going on here in the market to be paying attention to. Take a look at um, CCJ. Now, CCJ is one I've been keeping an eye on here. Um, we have heard a lot of news that uh, China is going to be building a tremendous number of nuclear power uh, plants. And so watching um, this in here, that's creating quite a bit of de demand here in this sector. CCJ may have found a little bit of price support in that trend and some buyers. And you can see we're gapping up here this morning in CCJ. And you could also look at stocks like URA and stocks like UUU, and they're finding some price supports in here and bouncing back up and may provide you some entries into some trades if you um, want to be a part of that commodity. Um, so watch that closely. Other places, take a look at AMD. AMD putting in a higher low in here. Now I will tell you that I think AMD is parabolic. And I would also point out that there is significant resistance in that chart. I think AMD actually needs to rest a little bit more, but yesterday that was a nice little bullish pattern coming into that chart. Um, so you may find some long opportunities there. You may also take a look at um, NVIDIA. NVIDIA, whoops actually put in a very strong pattern here, breaking through to new highs. Once again, maybe a bit on the parabolic side here. And as we um, continue to stretch this higher, we're really um, dealing with some pretty significant levels of price resistance in the chart. So watch that closely. This is quite an extension here in NVIDIA, um, something to watch, but those bulls continue to power in and it seems to be no concern whatsoever of what that next pullback may entail. So just 
just kind of be a little bit careful. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wrap this up today. I'm running a little bit long. Had a few more stocks to go over, but I don't want to extend this uh, video out too long this morning. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. Um, stay safe, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. I wish you all the best.